uh, lights up there. A little bit of friendly ribbing going on between Trimaster and Binksky here. See how long that lasts. What do you mean it's true? Yep. Uh, you are a caster for the University of Houston, am I right? Yes, correct. I don't actually go to University of Houston, but I've casted all their CSL games, friends with uh, all those guys, so. Right. Oh, yeah. Exo leading it up with players like Soon and uh, Sly. Well, it's definitely a heavy macro map. I'm thinking some type of uh, maybe one rats expand, depending on what they scout. I mean, you can be really greedy here. We saw TLO go a actually t double expansion on a Tan vs. Tan in this in uh, the TSL last week, two weeks ago. So, I mean, it can really be any type of opening. Really, it's all just about defending this space right here, not letting you know some type of concave. There's a good ramp right here, but there's a lot of open space for tanks too. So can really be anything. And then they do have close air position, so I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of heavy drop play or Banshee harass once they scout that. So it'll be interesting to see what that comes up with. Oh yeah, definitely, I agree. Really, any type of play works here. You can open with Banshees, you can open with a Hellion Drop, you can open with really anything with these close air positions. It just opens it up to practically anything. Now, a strategy I've seen Snix and Try use, they're both their brothers. Um, they go for some type of fast 1-1-1 and drop play, because if you're going some type of tank tech or anything like that, you're actually not going to be able to defend the back of your base very well, because you've actually put a lot of investment into your siege tanks. So if you get a fast drop, fast med back, you can really do a lot of damage on the mineral line, force them off, really get ahead in uh, production in that way. Yeah, no, it definitely is. And they removed him from okay. Skype. Sorry, sorry, Don. Yeah, there's a little bit of echo in there. That's kind of weird. Okay, uh, looks like both players playing completely standard, very, very identical builds, uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. But um, after factory tech, or really after orbital, is really when you get to see, um, get an idea of what kind of builds each player is going for. I mean, is it going to be very, very tech oriented, rushing the banshees? Is it going to be factory two racks? Is it going to be fast expand? I mean, really, again, I mean, you can see the variation already. You got Vince, you go for the tech lab. Uh, so, what do you think this holds? Well, it's kind of interesting because I've actually seen Trimaster go for the, which I'm assuming this is what Penske's going for, a type of a Reaper Scout. And there's kind of you know, some decent cliffs here on the edge that you can jump up and down. They're a little bit close to the ramp, but there's this one uh, on the backside, kind of where this, I guess, fourth expansion is. So you can actually hop up and down and abuse a little bit there. So it'd be interesting to see if he scouts over with a Reaper like that. And there is a Reaper coming out of Binsky right now. Now there isn't a second gas picked up for, oh, there we go, Trimaster's picking up a second gas, which leads me to believe it's type, once some type of 1-1-1 build or a fast factory, you know, going straight into tanks. Looks like Trimaster did supply block himself there for a second, but that factory is going up in the back. It's not really hidden, but it's not at the front of the base, so if an SCV gets in here, it's not going to see it because the Marine's going to pick it off before it gets there, hopefully. Right, and the commands are going down Minsky, so I mean, it kind of looks like the, uh, the build that actually played um, in the round of 16 against Trimaster, you do get that early read there, you know, Trans got on, Trans got on damage, you can also pass his fingers, he's going to try to chase down his SCV, he will probably get a Reaper's R, a little bit faster than SCV's R, I believe, yes they are. <coughs> oh. That's the corner, but Trimaster on the high ground, getting some hot shots in that Reaper's R. Very good there. By Trimaster, he's denying that scout, they get a little bit of damage, so when that Reaper does end up into the main, he's going to get taken down a lot easier. So we kind of think Trimaster's doing good. Looks like he is going for that Banshee rush there. Um, we did see him make that tech lab on the factory and he's gonna lift it off, land that uh, starport on the tech lab and gets the Banshees out. You know, I'm kind of interested to see if he is gonna get a cloak or not. He did get that early gas. Well, it really just depends on what he sees, what he sees when he moves into the base. If he sees some type of tank build, it's probably going to be going into uh, cloak 
and because he knows he's going to be able to shut down both those expansions pretty easily. It looks like he's going to scout three racks, which means a lot of minerals have been invested into these three racks. And Banshees do two-shot Marines, so if he can bait, you know, a good amount of scans, he could do a, he could do a lot of damage. But he is going to see the second orbital, which means he's going to have double number of scans that uh, Tri's probably expecting at this point. Right. Banshees do two-shot Marines, and they also two-shot Worker, which can be very, very effective. Yeah, and he is picking up that cloak. That's right. He is getting that fast cloak. Cloak, obviously, very, very strong against early game Terran anyway, um, when they don't have a Riven, uh, when they won't have that uh, Viking out. It looks like, but he does have two orbitals, which means he will have double his scans. Just not getting his factory, though, and it doesn't look like he has an engineering bay. So it looks like these Banshees can be pretty effective, because right now, Minsky not saving up his uh, energy at all on Robo Commands. It doesn't look like he's going to have any scans. Yeah, and looks like Tri is dropping his expansion inside his base. He's going to expand behind this. He has Siege Tank, uh, a Siege Tank pumping out. He hasn't picked up Siege Tank research yet. He's totally capped on his gas right now. The first Vanshee is out somewhere. There it is. Right there it is. Let's see what kind of damage they can do now. Again, um, since Vinci did get that fast orbital, uh, fast expansion, he is going to need to do some damage here. Yeah. Or he's going to be very far. And it's only 15 seconds till the first scan. Another scan will be able to throw down four seconds after that. So he can he can probably pick off this Vanshee if Snix is or it's not. So good job here so far. He is forcing uh, a lot of. Uh, lost some mining time here. He hasn't used Cloak. That's very good. It's a smart heads up play. He's not wasting that energy. And is he going to use Cloak? Oh, he doesn't opt to. Looks like he is just going to rely on his good Banshee Micro so far. Banshee picking up seven of those. Paying for itself. There you go. There's the Cloak. The scan. Oh. Yeah. Nice pick up there by Vinsky. Yeah, perfect scan there. Very well done. Got the energy down. Very well done. Notice that Vinsky does have an SCD over at the natural of Trimaster. Just making sure, you know, trying to get an idea of when that expansion is going to get down. Um, so, so far, you know, I like these plays by both players. Notice that Vinsky did not actually lift his orbital and landed his natural. That's mainly because his, uh, his main is equally saturated. You get anyone to get a little more drones. Well, he also didn't want to lift it during this time because he knows there's Banshees around. Oh, good stim and pick off there. He didn't want to lift it because he wanted to be able to save that scan. If it's in the air, it can't scan. But when Trimaster moved over here, the supply was actually 46 to 41, and Trimaster is now shot up ahead of Vinsky. He's keeping him inside his base. He's keeping him turtling. He's keeping him. He's used two scans, which is 600 minerals worth of mules as well as he's now throwing down a missile turret. So he's effectively baited 700 minerals out of him with pretty much, pretty near the same investment, and he's picked off units. So he's really ahead on the game with the Banshee Harass there. Right, but uh, I mean, so far, you know, I'm really impressed with uh, the Ryan Micro by Vinsky here. You know, he's really stimming, scanning the right moments, really picking off those Banshees. They haven't done a ton of damage. Oh, it looks like we have another Banshee coming from the Trimaster. He's got one kill. Let's see what else he can do. It doesn't look like uh, Vinsky just has one turret. I think it might be a small opening. Um, but notice that Vinsky has non burner scans. He does not want to let that Banshee get a ton of damage. And so far, Trimaster, nice Banshee micro. Not taking too many shots. He's not off that SCD. Yeah, and he's really abusing this uh, engineering bay being placed back here because he, he has a lot of room to maneuver right here. And Vinsky not getting his workers back to the wood. Now, it is. It is important to note that Minsky has picked up Stim and Marine Shield, while Trimaster has not. <laughs> Trimaster has opted as three tanks. He has a pretty solid timing push coming up here. If you look at the armies, it's a few Marines that have been stimmed down, so they're all weak. They'll die in one or maybe two tank shots. Oh, there's the Medvax, but he's going to use up all the energy on that. Ooh. Oh, the Banshee almost getting some nice micro there by Trimaster. So Good job keeping that Banshee alive. You want to keep every unit alive as possible. Obviously trying to make that Banshee pay for itself. Coming back for more. Can snipe off a couple more Marines, we'll be able to... Oh! Kind of a waste of oh. Oh, Two oh. HP. <laughs> so nice micro there by Prime Master. Really forcing these scans to go down, and that's huge. No, and not only that, but he forced a lot of stins throughout the early part of the game. Look at these medvacs. Yeah, he has two medvacs on the field. One of them has 22 energy, the other one has 19. And Tri is able to harass this line as it comes across the, uh, comes across the map. He's just draining all the energy out of this. So nice micro here by Trimaster. Ooh. Like he's not getting kills, but he is forcing the energy to be wasted. Now. That's a good play. It's not costing him anything at all, really. You know, it's just free harass. Yeah. Good job, Vinsky here. You're trying to make a move. He does have those shields and stim, but siege tanks up by Trimaster. Nice play there. It looks like Trimaster did also get that combat shield first and not the stim, which is a little interesting to me. But um, you know, I guess he wants to, you know, Ryan's to be a little more tanky. Well, he knows he's not going into medvacs. His starport's been pumping out banshees the entire time. So he knows he's, if he stims, he's just going to eventually, it's a finite amount of HP, right? So. He's getting awfully gutsy. Oh, there it goes. Oh, but nice drop here by Vinsky. Oh, put the medvacs going down. Vinsky not really having anything. Oh, Jace had that medvac. Oh. Huge pick up there for Trimaster. Nice defense. Really, really good heads up play. He lost two medvacs, 16 marines for a banshee and. 
a Marine down to one HP. That's right. I mean, if we look at the unit cost, that the Iron Master is up by you know close to a thousand resources. I mean, really, really good play here by the Iron Master. Looks like he wants to make a push. And notice that he does have tanks. Vince yeah. is something that he has not invested. He's no. just not getting siege tanks. Does not have siege mode. So we'll see if Trey Master can intercept this army. He does see it with his online watch pack. Siege is up. Good play there. Can he get shots off? No. Oh, very good. close. Good reaction. I yeah, just got to kind of hop across the map to it. And these Banshees still just draining the energy as much as possible from these medvacs. These ones are new, so he has to wear down their energy. Those other ones are totally out. Ooh, two more medvacs on the field. It's actually a good little stim army going on here, but it's about to get ripped apart. But again, these siege tanks forcing this Marines back. Good job. He's really playing a positional game. I mean, that's all TBT is positional. Yeah. You, got, you can't engage in bad spots where you are going to lose the game. Try master. Trying to siege up, setting up what looks like a good contain here. SCP's being pulled, tons of damage going down as Banshee cloaking up. Ooh, plenty of Marines and tanks left for a Oh, Banshee oh, getting a little back. ambitious. Doesn't want to lose that. Tank gets picked up, very nicely done. Had practically no HP left. Right, that's right, so Trimaster is going to be setting up a contain. Vinsky, he's got one tank set up, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think he's just going to get sniped off. He's just got too many tanks, too much damage going down here. A lot of metabats, but nothing. GG there. called. GG. First game goes to Trimaster. And it's it's those very close air positions in Terran versus Terran that just Banshee harass is just sublime there. Either drop play or Banshee harass. You have to go from one or the other. You can't go the standard Marine, Tank, Viking, because it's not going to get you anywhere comparatively. The Banshees and the, the drop play is just a much better investment there. Yeah, sure. Gotcha. Shattered Temple. Shattered? Yeah. Now again, it is MLG Shattered Temple, so it will not be able to spawn close by air. Yeah, but close by air. Which I think is, is interesting. MLG locks the close by ground, but leaves all the close by airs. Which in Terran versus Terran is just as deadly. All right, so let's get this on the road. Thanks again to all our sponsors here uh, with Texas Esports. We have NVIDIA, Microsoft, TT Esports, Texas Parents, and Intel. And again, thank you, Red Bull, for providing these delicious drinks for free. It's great. Oh, silly gamble. That's me. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> the game volume? No, not the game volume. The whole thing. Oh, Turn down a little bit. How's that? Let me feel a little okay? Nice, the players are ready. Uh, <laughs> updating the uh, overlay there. Things I gotta do for uh, the audience watching the stream. Boom. Oh my goodness. Okay, Trimast is up 1-0. All right, I'm sure our screen knows that. Okay, I'll fix it after this game. <laughs> Thanks, Ski. Uh, not feeling too confident there, it looks like. So show some love to the players. Trimaster and Binsky put on a show. It was a great TPT. Thank you all for out here. Really appreciate it. Doing one so, uh, what kind of openings do you expect from these two players? No one just has. Because you know, it's, it's close, by close by air again. Close by air again. I'm thinking Banshees, but he may swap it up to just a straight drop play and skip right past the tanks this time and just go for like a. Maybe put a reactor on there and go for like a 16 Marine drop in the back 
You can actually deal a ton of damage. And not only that, you can actually run up here on the hill, and if they don't have medvacs, you just oh, scoop right back out. That's right, okay. Get these spawn locations out of the way. We've got Binsky spawning as the blue Terran in the 6 o'clock position. Over here in the 9 o'clock, we've got Trimaster spawning as the green Terran. I noticed, again, he's got his SCV queued right at the um, to go right over here where, you know, he can't. He doesn't really have vision, so, you know, I'm assuming he's going to play Supply Depot. Again, he's expecting the drop play like you just mentioned. You know, those drops can be deadly. You want to know about the drop as soon as possible. And Trimaster already anticipating. He's doing a good job here. Yeah, Trimaster always puts his first starting Supply Depot at some location where he thinks drop play or he thinks air harass or something will come from because he knows placing these buildings can lead to great information advantages and information is what gets you ahead it's what wins you the game. I've actually seen him on bigger maps. He'll actually run around the map with just one SCV and just place supply depots along the edges where flight, like where something would commonly pass over. And that's something that you get from playing a lot of ladder and playing a lot of tournaments. You, you kind of get the, oh, it's going to go right here, kind of uh, impression. That's right. Okay. It looks like both players often to play very standard. Again, you know, that's that 12 racks, 13 gas, pretty much the most standard Terran opener. Uh, that you can have. See how they vary again, though. After racks, after orbitals, really when you start to see where each player is going to be going. Exactly. For about the first three minutes, it's nothing to. Yeah, exactly. Both players opting. The time master is going to be scouting long first. Uh, Binsky going to be scouting right, uh, right off the bat. But Trimaster can know when he sees this SCV go up the hill. Then unless Binsky scouted cross positions first. Yeah. See, he's going south now. There we go. So both players are finding each other here. Pinsky's SCV takes a peek and it just heads right on out. I think it sees that tech lab. Yeah. Is that game volume any better, guys? Yeah, he sees that tech lab going down. Okay, so we have orbitals coming out again. Ooh, okay. Looks like Trimaster. I'm open up with that tech lab. You can never read out, so it's like, um, Well, it's a much better build on this map, especially because look at all these, all these ledges. Right? Exactly. There's just a massive amount of ledges you can abuse here. You oh, actually need. Oh, well, Binsky. Often get that tech up a little bit later, but he did deny that scouting SCV, so you know, kudos to him. Picked up a one kill right there. Let's see, okay, now do note that Trimaster actually skipped his Marine altogether and looked like so he's getting his first Reaper out. Uh, he's actually double Reapering. Yeah, that's right. Binsky will see this, uh, he will see the Reaper, he won't see a Marine, so you know, I'm wondering if he is going to be expecting all no. this. This is a really good play by Binsky. He immediately, once he saw that tech lab, he threw down his own tech lab. He's getting concussive shells, and he's pumping out a Marauder. So that Reaper's not going to do that much damage, because by the time it gets here, there's going to be a Marauder. And about mm, 10 seconds after that, there's going to be a concussive shell. So. so OK, let's see what kind of damage he can do. He sees that Marauder right away, it runs away. You know, he knows that, especially with concussive shells. Slow down the Reaper, snipe it right away. Nice play by Trimaster. He's getting away before those shells finish. Now again, Binsky throwing down those mules. You always want to stay on top of your orbital energy. It's very, very important. Both players, even at 19 harvesters apiece. Uh, but Trimaster, I'm going to get his fast uh, over at his natural. He's not bothering to make it right here or anything like that. Now he's saying, no, I'm going to go ahead and get this natural up. You want to scout it, go ahead. Yeah, and it looks like Tri is picking up a three bear, <laughs> which intimates to me some type of, uh, well, I guess kind of a timing push. It depends. Yeah, timing push. There's a fourth barracks going down. There's no factor yet. So it's going to be a really heavy ground army. And he is researching Stim first, so it's definitely going to try and put some pressure on. He is expanding behind this, though, so it's not like it's some type of all-in. It's just, yeah, it's just a two-base timing push. Completely. Trimaster up 22 harvesters. Ooh, 20 that Reaper, I think, got two SCV kills oh, sorry, and I'm almost late. got a third SCV. So initially, things get picked off in an SCV, and then Trimaster somehow evened it out in the SCV count. And now he's actually ahead by four. So that Reaper paid for itself because it picked off at least three. We've got one Reaper coming from Binsky right now. He's trying to return the favor. Looks, we'll see what kind of things he can snipe off. There goes one SCV. Let's see how well he can micro. Oh, he's trying to go for that weak one. Is he going to be able to pull it off? Oh, oh, oh in, in, in come the Marines. Oh, but they're going in the wrong direction here. But it looks like Binsky will lead with that one kill. It's a pretty good job. Again, you know, it's not about the kills, really. It's about the scouting as well. Well, and it's also pulling the mining time, too. Yeah, yeah right. So he sees the four racks and he's expecting some kind of regression that might be coming up. Notice that Trimaster did get a bunker of his own to uh, try and stop. And he did get his expansion earlier than Binsky did. So he's got it up and running and he is up by a harvester. Well, yeah, and the thing is, Binsky is apparently doing the exact same build. He's going for a four racks. Looks like he's also going for a four racks timing push. So should be interesting. Factor being picked up by 
Trimaster here. He's going to pick up his gases at the expansion, or at least one of them. So he's going to get siege tanks in this push. He's researching uh, combat shields now. So it is going to be a marine tank push. While Binksky has some marauders, they have King Impressive. Be interesting to see how he uses that to his advantage. All right, you know, I'm really interested to see when Binsku actually off to get his factory, because right now, I mean, you know, I'd say he's pretty considerably behind, especially in tech right now. Um, with Trimaster getting these siege tanks out, they're going to be extremely, extremely good, especially against both those marauders and marines. Of course, tanks dealing extra damage to armored units. So, you know, I'm kind of interested to see when exactly he's going to be opting to get that tech. It looks like Binsky wants to make a push. His stem did finish. Uh, his shields are on the way. Um, not really close to done, though. Looks like he's queuing up his movements here. The way he's rallied, though. He's yeah. See him from the... Yeah, he sees it coming. Prime Master does see it. Siege tank's not done, though, but still, Siege tank's doing pretty good DPS alone, not Siege. Again, man, nice, nice unit uh, placement over on that ledge. But, oh, and this bunker... Surely she away those units. Oh, oh no, this is coming for blood. It looks like he wants to stem, maybe. Oh, no, he's going to get cornered. Oh, he's cornered up right now. Oh, my God. Just completely... Cleaning up that army, let's check out the units lost tab. 17 yeah. units lost for Binsky, about 700 more resources. And uh, once the siege, siege tech finishes, you know, I think Trimaster might make a, uh, a timing. Place. Yeah, the thing is, there's going to be a shit ton of Marines on the field. He's going to be able to resupply really fast because he has three sets of barracks with reactors. He tries barracks, none of them have reactors. He picked up a tech lab, that's it. So. Right. Looks like Binsky opting to try and go for that more mobile army, but um, you know I don't really think he'll be able to get these drops out in time. Oh, but that siege tank getting caught! Is it going to get sniped down? No, nope, he's doesn't on. focus it. There it goes. Pretty good job hopping back to the bunker. I think Binsky's defending that pretty well. Yeah, Trimaster definitely got a little greedy. He didn't really re realize that barracks was going up, and it looks like he moved a little bit too close to it. Or that bunker, sorry. He moved a little bit too close to it and lost it. And here he's picking up a uh, medback. Trimaster is back at the base. Meanwhile, the starport for Bainsky has been swapped over onto that reactor that the factory is building for it, and he is researching plus one right now. So again, I mean, you know, I think a lot of TVPs boil down to this. You know, you got the very strong, like, standard, very strong tank marine push. It's all about position where, you know, where that fights against the very mobile army of Eminem army, you know. But really, you know, I think it's up to Bainsky at this point to try and make something happen. Why is he having problems? You know, you can expect problems to happen. Um, well, Binsky really needs to do something to try and get ahead. Try has already dropped his next expansion. It's starting. He's clearing the gold. If he can take the gold, have the advantage in Siege Tech, which he does, and just hold it, he's going to be ahead pretty dramatically. Right, Siege Tech always so strong. Now, notice what Binsky did right there. I mean, you know, I like this place. It's something minor, but it's very important, okay? You pull one Marine, you stim, and you, and you forward scout. You yep. never just want to run ahead, especially going up against that opponent with Siege Tanks. Oh, definitely. And in the middle of the map, we had a little uh, altercation between these Marines and Medvac and a Reaper. And the Reaper thought it'd be funny to pick off one of the Marines and then book its ass oh, out of there. Oh, no, are these Medvacs getting get sniped? This would be huge. Oh, look at Trimaster. He knows. He's, he's running. He knows there's a full of Marines. Oh, oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't snipe it. Oh, look at Vince. Oh, there, there you go. Good elevator there. Looks like he wants, he is going in for economic damage. Try is not hopping up the hill. That's a mistake. Ah. Oh, Binsky, just, just, just running away. I'm kind of surprised he left that early. I think he could have done a ton more damage, just picking off, you know, some of these, you know, um, add-ons, some of these supply depots. I'm actually kind of surprised he just well, went up and left right there. I agree, but he didn't, he moved far enough to the left that he didn't see the site on the bottom of the hill, so for all he knew, Trimaster was just loading up those two medvacs, and they're about to drop down. He could have picked off both those medvacs before they even got away with the stim, so he would have uh, lost that entire army. Meanwhile, he brings it back here. He's repairing it now. So these medvacs do stay alive, and they have a lot of energy on them. They've been out for quite a while, and they really didn't have to use any any energy in that big fight. So just playing a little bit safer. When you're behind, you want to play a little bit safer than, uh, say, if you are ahead. And do you know that Binsky is sitting on that 1-0, and um, he actually has invested a lot more in uh, army, I believe, because right now we got Trimaster going up, getting that gold expansion up with mules. Mules are obviously very, very good. They can definitely shoot you up with that. Right there, 2,000. Elevator on the bottom part yes. of Trimaster's base. Good elevator. Oh, but he dropped. He's gonna get sniped. Oh, like nice. Don't look around, but I think he gets sniped off. But pretty good position here by Benson. Oh, he's getting a little over eager right there. Some of those Marines getting sniped. Looks like he wants to Oof. see what kind of damage he can do, but I there think he gets. There it is. Oh, I'm sorry. He's screaming at me over here. In the meantime. <laughs> Trimaster you know, did drop. Actually, 
<laughs> we know, we know where it is. Yeah, now. Exactly. And that's what I was saying. Remember at the beginning of the game, I said two drop shifts, 16 Marines abusing this back hill. I called it right there. He ran in, did exactly what you should do in a big fight. All you have to do is back in your main base, he has so many siege tanks, there's no way he's going to be able to push in. Just this drop play, which Trimaster really is quite good at. And that command center that was going to go out to the gold, or I guess this back one, I'm not really sure, he didn't clear the gold, is now moving in to retake the original position. Meanwhile, he's making a Marine and uh, a bunch of SCV push on this uh, gold. It's going in. Siege tanks are siege, but oh, Trimaster just so many siege tanks in the back shelling away. Don't see Vince here recovering from this, especially after using that CC. He's 50 supply down. Try yeah. that. Still has his gold. He didn't really do any damage to the SAVs over there. If we check out the Harvester tab, 46 to 28. I think that was kind of a, uh, well, I think this game is over. Yeah, I'm going to run my army. Uh, there it is. Just ripping up the mineral line over here at the natural. Just doing a ton of damage. I mean, these Marines, stim DPS. Look at this Marine. Seven kills on him. Good micro here. Vince on the G. So Trimaster going up 2-0 in the series. And I apologize, guys, for not being able to catch those drops. Pretty hard to keep up with. We'll get in the replay. We'll I know firsthand. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what map next. I think he said Zelnaga, but I'm not sure if that was... Yeah, Zelnaga. Snap. Love to kick. Love to kick them before I the game because it's their mouth. Yeah. Uh, Binsky. Suggest them. Thank you. Yeah. Sound up? Sound up's all the way. They're saying, I can't hear you guys. You kind of defeat the purpose. Okay. So game three underway. Let's see if Trimaster can sweep Binsky. So far, it's been one great series. I can say something else, but it's okay. Yeah, I mean, definitely the air superiority of Tri here with his drops and his Banshees has really defined both of the games. Yeah. And having a solid ground force to fall back on, it's not like Binsky can push in too well. 
That's really it comes down to Taren, Taren, especially at the beginning of the game where you know, there's just not that much mobility. That's right. Those drops can just be so deadly. Yeah. If if you don't react in time, if you don't see it coming at all, you know, you're gonna Yeah. There we go. That's the support. Spawning in the top right corner. Trimaster. Obviously getting a lot of love here in the crowd. And spawning in the bottom left corner. Binsky as our red Terran. Any love for Binsky? Okay. <clears throat> so again, you know, I mean, what, what can Binsky do to try and combat this? I mean, really, you gotta, you gotta keep in mind what he's seen in the last two games. He's seen Banshee harass, he's seen a, a drop, and he's seen really solid early tank. So... <laughs> You gotta, you gotta either go for some type of really early timing push to try and throw try off, which uh, it's pretty risky, but you could try it, or you need to really be able to defend those drops perfectly. That's right, but I mean, in both games, I feel like we saw Pinsky trying to go for that mobile army, you know, mastering medivacs, you know, MNF medivacs, and it hasn't really paid off. The master's positioning with the siege tank has just been too good. Yeah, and it's one of those things that you come against in Tyrant vs. Tyrant. You're like, oh, man, I'm gonna do, like, you know, like, all this awesome, I'm gonna use this mobility of this uh, ground army for. For Taren, the, the bio ball, if you will, and you, you really can't. You have to have siege tanks. That's what it comes down to. You don't necessarily have to have Vikings to go with those siege tanks, as we've seen in these last two games, but you have to have siege tanks. It's just, they're too good at holding positions. It's just one of those units that you almost have to have in a TDT. Yeah. That's right, looks like both are scouting. Trimaster often to scout a little earlier, seeing what's going on. Not going to see anything too funny. Pretty much both players playing standard. That's to be expected, especially in a TVT. Yeah, and one of those things I would really like to see is one day just TVT with no Marines or Siege tanks. I think it would. Don't, don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. I've seen pretty heavy Banshee and uh, Hellion play. Banshee, Hellion, Viking, and then another guy goes like Thor's to try and counter all the Banshees. Now, Trimaster getting that fast tech lab. See if a Reaper comes out of that. I, I'm. Expecting it now. Yeah. Binsky does see that, so let's see how he reacts right now. He's just getting Marine, not often get a tack lab or anything like that. Yeah, again, any type of map where there's more than uh, three inches of cliff, Tire Master will open this in TVT. Pretty much, pretty much guarantee every single game I've seen him play, he's and, gonna go for Reaper. And Binsky often get a fast factory, so this is where Ooh. the builds have actually Okay, been. so here is a build that TLO actually used on this exact map two weeks ago on the TSO. Which it looks like try and another build he did on Terminus was the exact same. So interesting to see. He's going for ghosts. And what you want to do is you want to snipe the Marines on the ramp and push into the base pretty quickly. So it should be an interesting, interesting dynamic here. That's right. Snipe, obviously, a very powerful ability. Um, do you know that Trimaster did get that fast second gas? Ghosts are very gas intense units. I mean, yeah, 150. One, yeah, exactly. With a 150, 150. Vinsky just getting that factory, but notice that he does have his Marines spread out all around his base, all around the cliffs. He is expecting that Reaper to come. And here it comes. Let's see what kind of damage you can do. Often just go off the ramp. Oh, it's smart oh, play. Yeah, okay. But, obviously the back. but you know, that, that's, that's very smart, you know. He knows that Vinsky saw that tech lab, you know. He probably knows that he's expecting a Reaper, so why not just run right up that ramp? I mean, it's probably, probably open. Why not? Yeah, exactly. So nice play. Hellion coming out for Binsky and a Starport. So, oh, Reaper doing tons of damage to Hellion. Can he snipe it? Oh, oh almost gets it. It's probably yeah, going to get a huge pickup. Yeah, it's going to get repaired. But he does see the scouting information he wants to see. He sees the Starport. He didn't see the tech lab going on down on the factory, so he could be thinking, eh, I'm not really sure. But it looks like he's going to go for some type of uh, Hellion Marine push. It looks like Trimaster's got one ghost. He's got another ghost coming out and another Marauder coming out the other tech lab. But it looks like Binsky. Wanting to get aggressive, he's got one Hellion and a handful of Marines, five Marines there, and he is going to be opting to get Banshees. He's getting that tech lab right now onto yeah. that starport. So really, this is just to kind of test the waters, trying to trying to poke and pot around, trying to get some kind of damage in. Yeah, and Trimaster is pumping out two Ghosts and three Marauders, which is really what the unit composition you want when you have Ghosts, because you want to slow down. I think he picked up. No, he hasn't picked up Concussive. Oh, it's finishing right now. There we he's go. He's going so well against all these light units. I mean, the Hellions are light, the Marines are light. Ghost is doing extra damage against light units. I mean, yeah, 30 a shot. It's really yeah. ridiculous. And he can snipe off all five of those Marines with the energy he has right yeah. now, I think. Uh, I think pretty close. Are really underutilized in the PVT, especially in an opening. I mean, it can be very good if your opponent's not expecting it. I still don't think he's actually seen the ghosts, to be honest. I think he just saw the one Marauder. Oh, going in. And, and he sees him now. That's right. With that watchtower. 
So he sees the force of two ghosts and three marauders oh, against these banshees. Oh, but these banshees are light. Oh, but these ghosts, oh, can snipe ghosts have good range? Oh, so close. That banshee is hurt. Very, very lucky there. Very, very lucky ghost. So let's see how so, trying to react. That banshee is going to have cloak by the time it gets to the base. That's right. So you have to watch out for that. But nice here by Banshee, getting a bunker up at his front. I mean, he sees this force coming. These marauders are going to be good against the bunkers, but there's just too many marines here. There you go. Yeah, he has to. Back out. He doesn't want to throw those units away. But he is doing what he wants. He's forcing him to turtle up. He is uh, expanding behind this, so he's going to be up a base. And he does have a ghost with EMP almost ready. So close. And he has the threat of EMP. Unless right. he's checking the exact amount of energy on that ghost. And there. he, well, he opted to use a scan as opposed to the EMP. I mean, that's a little interesting, but, you know, I, I honestly would have liked to see him use the EMP more. But, um, I mean, both, both ways work. I mean, he's doing a great job right now. He is down four harvesters, but again, he expanded so much earlier than Binsky did, too. I mean, once once that lands, it starts to pay for itself. It's gonna be uh, He's going to be in pretty good shape. We have that second Banshee headed across the map now. I'm not sure it's going to be that much more successful than the first, as these four ghosts all have enough energy to EMP. He's not going to have to waste a uh, scan on it. Right, it looks like Binsky finally opting to get siege tanks. <laughs> finally just now getting siege tanks and siege mode. Binsky is going to see the CC trying to land. Let's see what kind of damage it can do right now. Oh, it could catch some of these SCVs main already. Oh, but it's not oh, really it Fairly misses. Missed. Oh, that, that one hit it. Okay. That, that one catches him. Yeah. And she took it away. So that about to lose all its energy. It had about 60 on it. So not a bad, bad EMP. That's right. Binsky looks like he wants to play more standard, tank, tank, take marine play, and Trimaster really uh, brining his build orders here. Yeah, that's <laughs> four ghosts, four marauders, and five marines. Quite the interesting composition. Now, has he picked up Stim yet? It's uh, almost the way done. I can see him pushing with this really before too many siege tanks get up. And this is a really good build to push against the siege tank marine because all you have to do is you Stim, you pick off the siege tank, and you snipe all of those marines. That's what I'm predicting. Coming up in about mm, two minutes. Two minutes? All right, okay. Two minutes. I'm holding you to that. Ah, damn. Don't hold me to it. I'm going to look really smart if it's actually true. <laughs> Binsky often to get that bunker. He knows that siege tanks aren't, you know, a very, very near threat. You know, I mean, he's sure that, you know, they're probably not even here. Meanwhile, Binsky's Banshee can snipe off that one weak SCB. There you go. Good job. Again, Banshees do two shot SCBs. Oh! Nice. I, I, I Pretty expensive. He rolled in there with only 28 energy cloaked, and then he was down to 3 energy. He had practically no time at all. But then again, those ghosts are there with uh, plenty of EMP. Yeah, so gotta get get done with it. I would have liked to see him save it for his army, though. Looks like Binsky is up just 4 harvesters here. Let's check out the units lost tab. Pretty much even, but players losing around six, 700 resources. Binsky dropping a ton of mules, though. He had a lot of energy saved up. Um, don't know why that is. Maybe he was just worried about Cloak Manches himself. And he is a little bit ply blocked at the moment, but um, just a little bit minor. Close to 10 seconds there. Yeah, not too bad. And we see a much more standard composition out of Blinsky this game. The last two games, he's gone for that mobile force, like you mentioned. And a nuke <laughs> coming in <laughs> Trimax. He, like, he wants that achievement. He wants that achievement. That's right. He wants that achievement. Nuke coming up on the way. Yeah, he doesn't have Cloak, but nukes are great at really seeing an army. It's great at really. Sieging Stim, is up. Do terrible, terrible. So Trimaster is pushing out and he's gonna take this expansion. Cool. Oh, that yeah. Marine. I would not want to be that guy. That's right, so this game is turning out to be a good one. Um, both players sitting pretty much even on the harvester side. We got Binsky. Looks like he wants to make a small push out, but again, it's all about these tanks. Oh, he's about... gotta be careful. That's right. If he, he gets, gets out of position with these tanks, then and his arm is up, and his arm is up, and takes him out. It's not going to be good. Well, the main thing is you can sacrifice one ghost in this situation to knock all the energy off all four of those medvacs, and it really limits the amount of stims that can go out for those marines. It really, really limits their utility almost entirely. So it's, it's, a, really good, it's a really good thing for ghosts at the beginning of the game. And Trimaster still has not picked up siege tanks. He is now finally at 13 minutes into the game, putting a tech, la tech lab on his factory. Right now, Trimaster making a drop of Marauders and Ghosts. I mean, this is this is some oh, but a missile turret here by Pinsky. Nice game sense there. There's another one coming up. So I mean, he has learned from his mistakes in the past. He doesn't want to die a bit. Oh. Okay, so nice shot by Pinsky there. Now 
what he wants to set his sword off it. Oh, yeah, okay. siege tank coming See? Up. That's what I was talking about. Stem up straight for the siege tank. Right, nice. But oh, Bensi pulling it. He needs to pick up all those SUVs. Yeah, Yeah, it was a good call by him not yeah. to siege in this situation. Right. Uh, if we look at the supply, Vinci's 81 supply to 31. Yeah, he really came out ahead on this, actually. Right. Trimaster dropping him. Let's see if it lands. Oh, come on. Wait, where's that guy? Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's over here. 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 He's over Time Master is building a new production line on the far left side of the map. So we'll see if uh, that actually gets up and running. I'm not really sure he's going to take out the, uh, these tanks without a nuke, though. Right, but do you know gold based on Vinci? So what he wants to do is he wants to come back to defend. I mean, he could have mostly sent some of forces to pick up some of Yeah, I feel like Trimaster thought, you know, I've won two games. Yeah. Ghosts sound like fun. I'm going to do that. That's, that's what I feel like this game is. It and almost it worked. worked though. It almost worked. Yeah, it if did. he had like two siege tanks back at his base, if he had waited another minute and a half, two minutes, he could have done some serious damage. But Trimaster is up and mining at his uh, second expansion. And he is picking up Cloak. Cloak for his and ghost. No cloaking. So both for Banshees and uh, Ghosts. Man, he wants cloaking bad. It's a cool ability, man. They run around invisible. That's oh, absolutely cool. Look at this PF by Binsky. You know, like that play. He wants to defend his SCVs. But he goes. Oh my goodness. 14 kills on that one. Fucking 25 kills on that one. That's Commander. So these these ghosts paying for themselves. I mean, five times over. <laughs> Try Masters. Like, uh, F that. I don't need Marauders. I'm ditch them. I'm picking oh, on these no. ghosts. Oh no. Ghost. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, good job here by these... Binsky. He wants to siege up on this high ground. Yeah. Just start selling away at this expansion. Doing a good job here. And um, so, yeah. Trimaster knows, he picks up and moves away. Yeah, I don't think Trimaster can be back, but hey, I've seen crazier things, especially in competitive play. Yeah, you're right. I think, yeah, I think you're making that up. There's five bases <laughs> pumping out Marines in the middle of the map at a gold. It's just coming out for Trimaster. Okay, now these could do a ton of damage. Does he actually have an orbital? He doesn't have an orbital, he doesn't have any detection. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh no. No. Come back. Come back. Don't exaggerate, there's one missile turret in his mail. Get those tanks. Chai needs to finish off those marines so he can pick off the tanks. There's missile turrets now all around this uh this gold, gold base here yeah this is a this is a pretty scary gold base yeah it is look, look at how fortified this is you kidding me hey look, there's a wall barracks all around jeez look at this so vinci i mean he's got to know that he's ahead you know he's starcraft you know it's always the thing when you have a lead you always want to push your lead you don't always want to just go into the kill so going in for the kill worked for him yeah. on this one for sure Instead of coming back, he was like, you know what? I have a bunch of siege tanks. I'm just going to roll straight at that base. Look at this. He's got two hours to do this. He's just fine. I mean, why do you need minerals? You can just pick up some gas. Where is that starport? Uh, it's at this place. So we're going to lift off, get a rave, and just... Oh, no, no. I'm at Trimasters. Trimasters was at the other expansion. It is lifted off and is now running away from a few Marines pop oh, right. shot at it. This has become a real cat and mouse type of game. This is uh, this is pretty interesting. I mean, it's cat and mouse in the sense that Bingsky is playing a big cat. Uh, extremely defensively. Oh, and again, no mobile detection. These ghosts doing a good job. I mean, yes, yes I mean the, the ghost, ghost tech might have been his downfall, but honestly, they've been, they've been paying for themselves. No, yeah, no, they're having a good time. They've, yeah, they've they've been pretty awesome. Not gonna lie.
Raven coming out right now. Once this comes in, you can expect Binsky to just charge it and end the game. I think that Ghost Squad between them has almost, I want to say close to 100 kills. Those three that are alive right now have 45, and then the one that got the nuke off had at least 23 when it, that we know of. So. Okay, here we go. The huge army of Binsky. Ah, oh, no Raven. That's a roll there. in for the GG push. Oh, about to catch these ghosts out of position, yes. Yes, there it is, GG. It looks like Tri was just uh, waiting for those ghosts to die. He thought there was right. great last Man, hope. That was, that was a crazy game. That was, that was a lot of fun, though. Yeah. No, that, that was a good game. I applaud uh, and compliment Tri Master for going. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely uh, more entertaining to watch than Siege Lines, Sieging and yeah, Sieging. Right. So, but, but now he needs to be serious. <laughs> Time to be serious. Win the next game. That new yeah, it's a good hit. Okay. 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 Do you guys have any raffle tickets that are just numbers? Um, want to like be into the drawing? Just come up here and put your names on them. That's it. Like, if you have spare raffles, just put your name on them and then throw them in there. Yeah. <laughs> waiting to hear from Try what the next map is going to be. I said we're just waiting to hear from Try what the next map is going to be. Trimaster not registering that he lost, I think. <laughs> what? I have to pick a map? Metalopolis. Okay, so MLG Metalopolis is going to be the map. And actually play. Oh yeah, um, me against Donald. That'd be funny. That'd be a good match. Especially for about the first ten seconds, where you're like, "This is weird. They're not bringing any of their SCVs." Oh, lols. Okay, here we go. So game four underway. Thank you all for coming out again. Thanks to our wonderful sponsors. Go and support them. Definitely helping out the esports scene. And here we go. So, Vinsky on the. Uh, yeah, the verge it. of elimination here, but again, fun game last game. Yeah. Let's see how it turns out. Again, TBT, very versatile. You don't know what to expect. Yeah, someone could build four ghosts. And again, close air positions every right. single game so far. Makes it much more exciting, in my opinion. So that's good news. I agree. Hopefully, we'll see some kind of uh, Mac Orion styles from both these players. Give us more of a show. Not so too short. But, um,. Yeah, so with these close spawns, expecting some more drop play. I mean, it's not as big of a main, I think, as Shattered Temple. It's not as viable, in my opinion, um, as Shattered is. But, you know, possibility still there. I mean, the distance is so close. The thing is, it's really easy to fend with turrets, which is what makes it different than Shattered. Because you know, you know, there's, there's a finite amount of space that you can actually drop in. Because this back edge, really, you can't really sneak by it if you place a missile turret kind of down here by the uh, smoke. So it eliminates a lot of the surface area of it. But I do suspect a Reaper is going to come out from Trimaster. This is the Eclipse, yeah. Good call. Now, again, note that Trimaster is building his Supply Depot over, you know, somewhere where he doesn't have vision. Again, a good play. You want to have that heads up. And notice that Bisky has time and time again made a Supply Depot over, you know, by his middle patches. And I think mainly that might be to um, try and, you know, prevent against those Blue Flame Hellion drops that are very kind of common in the uh, Terran, Terran metagame. Well, another thing is if you leave it out in the open, like, Trimaster's is really susceptible to Banshee harass. Right. 
you can you can walk over and get that burning before really they have anything and that's what you do once once the main part of the, the mineral line is turreted up you're like oh what building is around the edge that i can pick off oh there's one plop plop now it'll be interesting to see what basically is going here we've seen him go marine medvac late tank marine medvac late tank marine tank medvac so I mean, i'm not really seeing much variation here but who knows it could change it up with some banshees don't know both players playing very standard again 12 racks, 13 gas. Um, you seen the orbitals go up, and then from there, see what kind of crazy builds. Um, Bainsky is now scouting Trimaster. Trimaster scouting Bainsky. They both guess the close position first. Well, the close by air, not the cross. That's right. I do note uh, that both semis have been mirror matchups. So in the finals, we'll be seeing a ZVT. Pretty excited for that. It's one of my favorite matchups. And yeah. Trimaster again, going for that Reaper scout. Binsky is going to see this. I'm sure that Trimaster knows this. Um, so we'll see where <laughs> he actually goes up. You know, he just ran up that ramp last time. It's pretty interesting. Very heads up. And... Now, Binsky is building his supply depot back here in the smoke. And then he's building his factory kind of over toward the left a little bit. I guess that's for vision. It's not a bad place to place it, I guess. And really nothing too exciting. The Reaper is about to finish, and it'll head across and jump up. But there's an SCV also oh intimidatingly placed there. Next oh, to that. it looks like he wants to drop that command center. Is he going to drop? I, there you go. You want to get rid of that scout first? Get out of here. Surely, there you go. He drops it. Always want to have that doubt. Oh, Trimaster sneaking an SCV. Pretty hero right there. Good job. Wants to see if there's any hidden tech. It's probably not going to be there, but he, I mean, he does know that there's a supply depot. So if he wants to go for future drops, you know, you got to be worried. Yeah. Another thing, as I mentioned, it's never a bad call to rush back there and check. This SCP getting pretty ballsy. Oh, the Reaper coming in, getting two kills. Pretty good micro here. Oh, two, two health. HP. Good job there. Go, Reaper, go. Yeah, he makes it out of there. It's a good micro there. Um, but Trimaster did lose a couple SCVs. He is down by two right now. Um, but, you know, I think it was kind of worth the scout. It did allow that Reaper to get some Marine kills. Yeah. I mean, importantly... Uh, Binksky did deny it from seeing he waited till it was gone and the SCV was out to drop his starport. So for all Tri knows, he could be going, you know, siege tank right now. Don't know. Right now, Binsky did not. He hasn't seen that CC yet. Uh, we do see Tri Master dropping down two more axes. So we'll be seeing some kind of heavy bio play from him. And it looks like Binsky often get a fast starport and no tech lab on the Hellion. So far, we might see Banshees. But, oh, see, with that second Hellion, you know, I'm not expecting it. He'll probably be going for a Marine Hellion drop, try and see what kind of harass he can do with these close air spawns. Yeah, definitely. There's no tech labs or reactors on any of his buildings right now. And uh, if this fails, he's going to be pretty far behind economically, as Trimaster is 